one issue that I believe does not receive nearly the attention it should in churches is the issue of pace. We're often told that the important things in life are those things that are eternal. God, His Word, His Church, the souls of men, and so on. And it's true. These are, these eternal issues are matters of extreme importance. But pace matters and time matters because the eternal destiny of eternal souls is determined in time. Right now, the church is growing at a pace faster than it has ever grown before globally. And the percentage of people who are followers of Christ is higher than it has ever been before in all of history. And yet, there's still a little more than one non-Christian per second dying and entering a Christless eternity. Every one of these is a soul for whom Christ died. And his desire is that they be saved. And he deserves the glory that comes from their worship. So he is being robbed of his glory every time one of them dies apart from him. Even in the Old Testament, Scripture tells us, God does not delight in the death of any man. Peter tells us in the New Testament that God is not willing that any should perish, that he wants all to come to repentance. So it's a serious matter, a matter of God's glory, that these people are dying apart from him. And this is not acceptable. And even though the church is growing faster than it has ever grown before, we're not quite keeping up with population growth, which means there are more non-Christians alive today than there have ever been at any time previously in history. And our generation of disciples is responsible to reach this generation of souls. It's a matter of urgency. We have a life raft at the scene of the shipwreck, and there are people sinking under the waves, just like this. We need to rescue them, not just for their sake, but for God's sake. Pace matters.